and Tom Brady, who oh, is man. slowly transforming into my abuela Juana. <laughs> and I think they're seeing the same colorist. Yeah. What is happening there? I threw it out there and it was a conceivable, like everyone kind of bought my theory that part of this time away was he went back into the shop and got some work done. But then that post game press conference, I don't know. He's if it like, was I got a lot of shit going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brother, you do. <laughs> I've never heard that from like the best quarterback ever. He's just like, listen, man, this this last couple of years, it's been a lot. This incredibly committed professional who throws during vacations in Cabo yeah. to make sure in March to make sure that his arm is just right for the NFL season. Three weeks before the season starts, just goes, yeah, I had a lot of shit going on. I love that. I love that. Like. I I know it's that the most <laughs> humanizing thing he has ever And he said. dropped his age. Yeah. I'm 45 years old, man. I, I have that. a lot of shit going on. I felt that in my bones. It was the one time that I finally got Tom Brady. It's like, dude, you have seven assistants. Right. You can't like, have that like, much you, going on. You have on. enough money. Again, his, his income is the second income in his home. Yeah. And somehow... He has like, oh, I got, I got to take care of some stuff. Like, he had to run to Whole honestly, Foods. The whole thing sounded like Stu Gatz. Like, I've been dealing with this from Stu Gatz for six months. I recognized every part of the speech pattern from, yeah, buddy, I'm old, and a lot of things da are going on. Down, down to him being gone for eleven yes. days with <laughs> unannounced, unannounced with, <laughs> as a surprise. He had trouble closing his mouth. Like his mouth was swollen. <laughs> The hair is super dark, and we know that he's, he's been coloring it, but it's full. It just, I was scrolling through my timeline super fast. I'm like, why is Meg Ryan in front of the Tampa Bay He was Bucks? smiling the entire time, even when his mouth was moving. He's like, yes, I got a lot of shit going on, guys. But the, the jawline has been super, it's almost as like he, he like, he sprayed it a little bit. And it's just, it's. You like some contouring? You got to let it breathe a little bit, though. Everyone knows this about the Brotox. It takes two weeks to settle. Just, I guarantee you, the, come the, Sunday the, night football, he's going to look great. The color, though, was really the most disarming part of all of it because it, it kind of made me think, was Tom Brady going to be a graying quarterback? And would this be actually more impressive if he were a graying quarterback? He should lean into it because that was part of why Brett Favre's year in Minnesota was so impressive because <laughs> he looked 73. He looked like a haggard front man from a rock band that had its glory days 30 years ago and was playing the state fair circuit. Like, would Tom Brady look like Len Dawson if not for all this plastic surgery? I'm telling you, his hair is white. You could see the roots. It is white, Jess. He's got Ric Flair white hair under there. All I'll say about the hair is the, the middle part. Like, What's he's with the really, middle part? He's really been watching TikToks lately. Yeah, the middle part is in, isn't it, Jess? Oh, the middle part has been in. Yeah. But, but the middle part is usually in if you have longer hair. He kind of has a Zoolander, but there's just a part in the middle. Yeah. It looks like a, a bad wig. I I feel very uncomfortable. Me, who, I mean, when I got out of bed this morning, I almost just, I lost my balance and fell right back into bed. <laughs> and it was just because I took a step too quickly. Fantasy draft, Dano. Yeah, was. <laughs> At Michael Ryan Ruiz, if you also reach on Gabe Davis. Who's your defense? 